Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time to see the Bent Tree Trail. That's right, I'm camped out at Nails Creek State Park, Lake Somerville. Got a little red, the sun is shining, got the GoPro Hero 9, best of all I have you. Let's go check out the Bent Tree Trail. If you see any branches, duck, cause I may not see them. I have to look down more than look up. All right. It is Labor Day 22. I've been camped out here at, at Nails Creek for several days and it rained most of those days. It stopped raining yesterday and Things have kind of dried out a little bit. So far, I've been able to ride one trail successfully without any untoward incident. So let's, let's, hopefully this will be number two for today. So far, this is a great trail. We're actually gonna be right behind my campsite. I didn't even know this trail was back here. That's how dense the brush is here. Uh -oh. There are lots of deer in this park. This morning I saw a mama doe and three babies in the campsite next to mine. believe we're going to intersect with the Lake Shore Trail. Of course, all that, that green, that sea of green out there, that is where the lake is supposed to be. This part of Texas has been in severe drought conditions for a couple of years. It's not smooth, but it's, it's certainly drivable. The 
you've caught it all like concrete. <laughs> There were, I, I was here over Labor Day weekend. I actually booked my site Wednesday. Look, the last Wednesday. One day in advance, I made my reservation for Labor Day weekend. And there were still a dozen RV sites available, open. Now granted, you, you know, no place to go swimming go fishing is a bit of a, a journey but still I mean come down here and camp there were a whole lot of kids having fun this weekend Come out here to hike. Make sure you bring lots of water. Deal. Vigilant rattlesnakes. They're probably when the water is at normal levels, there's probably venomous water snakes too. We'll keep following this. A lot of pig tracks up through here. Feral hogs are a real bad problem in Texas. If you've been following along, I, I, I talk about that a lot. This is going to take us back up to the parking lot, maybe. There's a couple of deer over there. That goes to the parking lot. See the deer?
Where do we go? We'll try this. Looks like there's a little bit of a rough spot to go up. Walk her up. There we go. Come down, they come through here in the gator. Most of these trails, if they uh, are driving the gator and the mower, they come through here with a mower too. So, usually, Little Red can navigate them. Sometimes, though, there are spots that she just can't get up. Now this Lake Somerville is deep in the heart of Texas. We're not too far from Washington on the Brazos, which was the first capital of Texas. We're between Austin and College Station, northwest of Houston. Kind of northeast of San Antonio. The Lake Somerville State Park has a huge trail network. There's campgrounds on both sides of the lake and a, a, just a very large public space with trails connecting the two campgrounds. On many of these trails, horses are permitted, and the Nail Creek unit, which is where we are, is an equestrian campground. It's actually one of the nicer equestrian campgrounds that I personally have visited. Now, I, I'm, I'm not in the equestrian community, but I check out all the campgrounds. Should be all downhill for the most part. I have 
mud on the left rear tire hitting the fender. What that thumping noise is. Moving over to Huntsville State Park to inform me that I won't be able to pick up Trudy until probably Thursday rather than heading all the way back to North Texas just to turn around and drive back I've decided to continue my camping adventure When this trip started, I went out into the deep, <laughs> deep into the big thicket part of Texas, which is southeast, almost to Louisiana. I spent three nights in a screened shelter, and those three days I, I explored all of a big lake that's all of a sudden drawing a blank. Uh, anyway, lots of Corps of Engineer campgrounds. And then I, when they informed me that I was going to be, it was going to be <laughs> a week before I got the coach, I found this site where I'm camped now and have been for four days. And then last night I jumped on the Parks and Wildlife website and found a screen shelter available at Huntsville. I've, I've been to Huntsville a couple of times and every time I'm there I've always yeah, I wanna I'd be I'd be interested in camping in one of these screen shelters. So that's what I'm gonna do. We are way back out here. I think we're gonna Across one of those intersects. End up on the parking lot of the RV loop.
trail is kind of faded out here. There it is. That'd be a cool job to have. Riding around on the gator on the trail. building up there on the left is the restroom for the RV. made the right decision. Hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did. I'm gonna go over here in the shade. Getting a little warm. Yeah, that's better. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I, I enjoyed it. My legs are tired. <laughs> that's, that's a workout. 
If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, <laughs> that's why I get to come out here and see this stuff. Thank you for that opportunity. I truly appreciate it. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock! Alright, y'all come back now, you hear?